welcome back. It's the oh. That predator laugh <laughs> tells me everything I need to know about her. Get the rocks. Yeah. Abdul? Yeah, get the rocks. Get the rocks. Sarah, how are you? I'm fantastic. Thank you. Um, so, you know, you and I have, have been in the industry a long time, and you've always been somebody that's had like such a big presence in the adult industry. Um, you're insanely popular. You have a huge following. So I guess let's start from the beginning. And why don't you tell me about how you get started in the industry? Um, well, I was working a lot of jobs and my husband suggest my husband suggested I started dancing so I didn't have to work as hard. So I didn't have to work as hard. And I danced for a really long time. Um, but I moved from like the Midwest to Las Vegas. And once I did, dancing got really challenging. Like there's so many more girls, there's so many more customers, there's so many more variables and like different types of like people you have to deal with. So um, I kind of like looked at that and said, what do I really love about, you know, dancing? And what can I take from that to uh, form another career? And, you know, I love sex. I love being viewed as a sex object. It was like a really exciting thing for me to explore. That's fucking haram. Yeah, I decided that I wanted to do porn. <laughs> Deja vu. What did you just say? Nothing, just a little deja vu. What did you see? What happened? A black cat went past us, and then another that looked just like it. How much like it? Was it the same cat? Might have been, I'm not sure. Switch, APOC. What is it? A deja vu is usually a glitch in the matrix. It happens when they change something. You married at the time you did it for a scene? You married at the time you did it for a scene? I was. You married at the time you did it for a scene? You married at the time you did it for a scene? I was. You married at the time you did it for a scene? You married at the time you did it for a scene? I was. I don't believe you. Impulsive liars tend to lie about everything, even when they really don't need to. Um, they lie frequently and often. Um, compulsive liars also believe their own lies and are often lying so much that sometimes they can get caught up in their own lies and forget what they told you before. So looking for inconsistencies in stories may be one way that you can help identify a compulsive liar. 
married at the time you did your first scene? I was. And your husband was okay with that? Yeah. Oh my God! Okay, so how, how does this conversation come together? I, you know what, my, my ex-husband and I, we're like very simple people. I you lying ass bitch. I walked up to him, I said, you know, I think I'm, I've been thinking about And he was like, uh, okay. <laughs> Predator laugh. <laughs> Tells me everything I need to know about her. Zero accountability. It's all fun and games with her, and she does not take responsibility for any of her actions. And I think that, you know, he was pretty much aware of that. And I think that, you know, he was pretty much aware of that. So, um, yeah, I don't think it was that big of a stretch for him. Plus, um, he trusted. He trusted. Good morning, fellas. Never trust a bitch. You know, I, I wasn't always the most faithful woman. I wasn't always the most faithful woman. <laughs> the, the fact that I would, you know, make the most out of it as a business, too. Okay, you gotta understand, it's entirely a business thing. <laughs> You're broke! You're fucking poor! Back where you fucking started, Wagey. <laughs> Someone has to fucking flip the burgers, dumbass! You're I have gone through a pretty rocky year. Yeah, and, I and was you said like, you want to feel more stable in your life. Right. I was fully ready to come home and be a stay-at-home mom. Would you rather I not do this and you kind of like pay for, you know, more of the stuff? Because we're 50-50 on everything, right? Yeah. Like, Beta! Mortgage payments, everything. Like everything is 50-50. And Any woman that you deal choose to deal with, her money should be no good with you if you're 100% man. I was fully ready to come home and be a stay-at-home mom. I just said that. Right. And then, you know, you were not really down. I mean, a lot of people seem to think that, like, I'm broke and that that's the only possible reason that I could have been on board with this. <sighs> okay, people need to get this straight because this has, like, no effect on Adam's income except for, like, whatever views you've been getting off the podcast. This is all my money. We this is all my money. We split everything. We split everything. Beta! And we do have a prenuptial agreement, which people keep keep bringing up. I hope you got a prenup. Um, we're both very financially conscious. We're both good business people. No, you're not. Yeah, no, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not. Stop. We're not broke. I don't know. I don't know what else to say except to say that we're not broke. We we don't have to work. She might pass you and then breadwinner. Be she might pass you and then breadwinner. Because we had that conversation she too, might. where she said, "This is all my money." I don't know about that, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're broke. You're fucking poor. Mar, are you the head of your wife? I like to think that we're equal. Are you the She's head? Beta. I am. I am a. I, I, no. 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 I'm an alpha. Uh. Uh. Not if you think yeah. you and your wife are equal. Beta. Because I tell you why. Okay, you gotta understand, it's entirely a business thing. <laughs> you got millions like, on top of millions of dollars, Adam. You didn't do that shit. Do it, I'm like, on top of millions of dollars, Adam. You didn't do that shit. Stop the cap. <laughs> Stop the cap right now. Stop the cap. Fair enough. Now, would you guys ever have a dude be in your scenes? No. No. We got a one way thing going here. One way thing. I mean, we're monogamous in our private lives, and then we do shit on camera with other yeah. girls. Right. I got too much money to have her getting donkey fucked <laughs> by some fucking <laughs> linebacker. I can't do it. I know you fucking lying, bitch. <laughs> The bitch. I also like a very business minded person. She says, I am a very business minded person. Um, we're both very financially conscious. We're both good business people. Like a very business minded person. Gee willikers. So when another dude, this gorgeous, excreet, expels, oh releases. Buses his man chowder on your face. I did not know that was a business decision. I'm trying to bust out on you. 
Can you guys just imagine being her husband and asking, Hey, honey, how was work today? Oh, work was spectacular. I had to work at double. I was on my hands, knees, and back all day. Hey, y'all, come look at this. I do have an announcement. I just want to break it to you guys so that you guys all know what's going on. Which is basically you're quitting on us, bro. Oh, I'm not quitting. Shit. I'm not quitting. But I'm going to tell you something that might blow your mind. All right, blow my mind. Then. It's early enough. After seven years with my girl, this is not the breakup conversation. I really oh. it might have sounded like that right there for a second. <laughs> yeah. After seven years together, she shot her first ever scene with, us, with another man. Boy, if you don't, we don't give a fuck. Yeah. Jesus, we don't. Welcome back to Swoop Reaction. Make sure you hit the like, comment, and subscribe. Now, I'm about to go in and give y'all my conclusion to this video. You know, there's many reasons on why Lena and Sarah are the same. And I went over that in the video in grand detail. So I'm not going to go over that in this conclusion. Make sure if you missed anything. And if you want to go back on something and see it, I got the full links to the interviews and you could go and see it for yourself and hear it for yourself that the interviews are pretty much the same. All right. They're nearly identical. Uh, them as characters are identical from Vlad and Adam having the same name from Lena to Sarah having the same name for their mannerisms, their professions, their uh, just uh, all plan. You know, it's, it's all the same stuff, y'all. <laughs> All around the world, it's the same. And um, these characters, they're not unique. They're just uh, the same over and over. Over and over and over. And um, I had a comment that asked me to go deeper into this. And I wanted to uh, say that I appreciate y'all. Um, when y'all do give me these comments, when y'all give me these words of encouragement, when y'all ask me to do videos and if y'all want me to explain or go into deeper details, I will. So make sure y'all hit that like, subscribe and share because your comment might uh, show up next and I might um, react to it and give insight to it. And um, yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about the video and, you know. You could build on it and maybe y'all seen something I did not add. Now I could continue on going and going on and on and on and on and on. But <laughs> I'd rather not. I'll leave that to y'all in the comment section. So y'all let me know uh, what y'all thought about the video and what y'all think I should react to next. New reactions and new content is coming. Appreciate y'all. See y'all in the next vid. Welcome back. It's the... Oh. Perfect.